Yeah, Muta is a temporary marriage which was uh, practiced in the early stage in Islam, Hadith in Sahih Muslim. It was uh, uh, practiced, a uh, temporary marriage, like people were traveling from one place to another place, and they would marry a woman of that place where they stay uh, for temporary contract. And uh, after that, they, there's no obligation over man or woman. After the contract is over, the woman is to her way, and man is to his way. But after the conquer of Khaybar, after the conquer of Khaybar, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abrogated this marriage reported by Ali radiallahu an. And I challenged Shia to prove it and they didn't come back to that. I said, look, you believe in Ahlul Bayt, we believe in Ahlul Bayt. And Ahlul Bayt, the leader of the Ahlul Bayt, Ali says that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abrogated this. Why don't you believe it? Hadith in Sahih Bukhari, Ali is saying, radiallahu an, that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam abrogated the muta marriage in Khaybar. They don't believe it now. Yes. And I sent the text to all the people in Luton. Remember the time somebody asked me about Muta? I sent the whole Dalil of that this is in Sahil Bukhari, book so and so, and Kitabun Nikah, Bab Al Muta. And then it is uh, the abrogation was mentioned, and it is reported by Ali radiallahu an that Rasul abrogated it in the, after the conquer of Khaybar. But the Shias will not believe it. It's not, not any Hadith Sahabi, it's Ali who narrates this Hadith. But they won't believe in it. Yes? No. No. Rasulullah has said, <clears throat> even in Surah Tawbah, there was a mosque built. And that mosque was Masjid al Dirar, Masjid of Ham, creating Ham. And Rasulullah, Allah told him to destroy that Masjid. And hadith in Surah Abu Dawood, such places are not allowed for us to worship, to pray. Rasulullah in Sahih Muslim, he said that uh, he asked Ali to travel from one place, from Medina to Yemen. And he said, if when you find any grave, any grave being honored, respected, and bowed, or worshipped, destroy it and make it flat to the level of the ground. So alhamdulillah, these places where you see that the, the shirk is going on. So we are not allowed to pray in Mazar. Any mazar, whether it is Shia mosque or any mazar of our uh, calendar, Shah calendar, whom, whom, the, any mazar, no, no, no place, no mazar, we cannot pray, alhamdulillah, it is haram to pray. And Rasulullah said, hadith in Abu Dawood, where he says that no place, no prayer should be offered where the grave is, or no masjid should be built on the grave, and you cannot pray on the grave, next to the grave, or in front of the grave. Anything else? Yes. <laughs> yes, brother. I don't know if I'm allowed to entertain those questions. Doctor? Yes, the doctor is saying stick to the subject. Okay. Okay, inshallah. No. No, because see, I'll tell you why. Ya Allah means we know that Allah listens to us. Allah is hai, la yamut, and he listens to you. He is present with his knowledge everywhere. But when people, they say, Ya Muhammad, when people, they say, Ya Muhammad, they also believe they attribute the same attributes of Allah to him. And this is the shirkfil rububiya, shirkfil asma wa sifat, both rububiya and asma wa sifat. Because uh, in Asma wa Sifat, in Sifat, this is Allah who is Hay La Yamut. Allah is who is present with His knowledge everywhere. So they consider. Even I think in your uh, sorry to tell you, since you have asked me, this is taught the same Akida is taught in the Madrasa Hikma. My son was studying there, and the Sheikh Sahib is telling him, "Look, Rasool is watching us from his grave." So the, uh, I'm really, I'm sorry to say you that, but this is wrong. This Akidah is wrong. Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he is alive, but he is not alive the way he was alive in his lifetime. His women, mashallah, his wives, they mourned for four, ten, four months and ten days. He was buried, he was shrouded, ghusl was given to him, and janaza was prayed. So we know that he died. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has said, وَمَا مَحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ 
قد خلت من قبله الرسول افا ان مات او ان قتل ان انقلبتم على عقابكم that who is muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is one of the messengers and many messengers have gone before him so if he dies or if he is killed then you still you know going to go back to the religion means go away from the religion so we have to understand that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam died in surah uh, zumar allah says innaka mayyitun wa innahum mayyitun that you will die and they will die so alhamdulillah we know that prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had died but giving their tributes that he listens to you he hears you this is subhanallah so okay regarding this this to a shirk the shirk of today the current situation of the ummah i'll be having a talk in uh, white chapel mosque by noor pro white chapel mosque in kidhar hai london muslim center east london hai na yeah east london mosque this first january there i'll be talking about the the grave worship of today there will be video clips everything inshallah if you want to attend of this kind of issues inshallah you come there inshallah jazakallah khair free tickets <laughs> for me everything is you are most most welcome you people are my children my family something which i can do i can do for you all alhamdulillah but if it is organized by someone else see i'm getting tea after the organizer drinks first see I, I, i'm that humble if you can understand that alhamdulillah so alhamdulillah they are my children so i love to you know talk like that about them alhamdulillah jazakallah khairan wa akhiru da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alamin inna allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna 'ala an-nabi ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu 'alayhi wa sallimu taslima allahumma salli 'ala muhammad wa 'ala ali muhammad kama sallaita 'ala ibrahim wa 'ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid allahumma barik 'ala muhammad wa 'ala ali muhammad kama barakta 'ala ibrahim wa 'ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidum majid barakallahu